Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics School YouTube channel. This is session 15 in BASAS programming series. Microsoft Excel spreadsheets are often the most preferred means for receiving, processing the results and to capture the data. The SAS system generally provides multiple solutions to most data manipulation challenges. We will see how we will use PROC import and export method to read Excel data. One of the major advantage of using PROC import and export procedure that it can work directly with the native Excel files such as XLX file. There are various ways to import Excel data into SAS environment. So let's say if somebody is using SAS Enterprise Guide, one of the easiest way is to click on file option and then select import data option from there and import the Excel data. But let's say your data is into some remote location and you want to get your Excel data from there. In that sort of the cases, you can use PROC import procedure to get your Excel data into the SAS environment. Let's say you have your data on your local machine and you want to import that data into the SAS session, then you can also use PROC import procedure to get your Excel data. This is one of the best methodology I'll say if you are working on an Excel sheet. So let's see the general syntax of this procedure and then in detail we will do few examples to understand each and every option of PROC import. So data file option tells us where to find the Excel file that one wants to import into the SAS environment. The other option is out option. Out option tells us to create a SAS dataset with any name of your choice. By default, the import dataset is going to be saved in work library. However, if somebody wants to save it into a permanent library, one can save into the permanent library also. DBMS option tells us the type of the file to read. For example, in Excel, there are various versions of Excel SAR. For example, if you want to import XLSX file, XLS file, Excel 2003 file, so that is basically what DBMS options means here. Replace is used to overwrite the existing SAS data set mentioned in the out statement. So let's say if you have already created a particular data set and now you want to replace after reading the new data set after three days, then you can use the replace option and it will overwrite the overwrite on that particular file. Sheet option is used to specify which sheet SAS want to import from the Excel sheet. So let's say there are four uh, Excel sheets are there and you want to import a peculiar one. So with the help of the sheet option, you can import a particular sheet from an Excel sheet. Get names. This is an option which tells us to use the first row of the data as a variable name. This particular option is going to be very helpful for you if in your if in your Excel sheet the first row is our variables and you want to keep those variable names same in your SAS data set. Data row option is used to specify the starting row from where SAS would import the data. For example, you want to import the data from uh, row number five. So with the help of the data row option, you can tell SAS to start reading the data from row number five. The range option is used to specify SAS that what range of the data I should import. For example, you want to import the data from column number B, row number 2 to column number D till row number 10. So that is the range of the data you want to import from the Excel sheet. Mixed option tells us to convert all the numerical values to character where a column contains both numeric and character data. A scan text option tells us to scan the column to determine the character length and scan time option tells us to assign time for a particular co a column or a particular variable. Let's say there is a particular column in your Excel sheet uh, which is into the time format. Then scan time option can be helpful for you. Use data option tells us to read the date field into date 9 format from the Excel data. So this is all about uh, the options which are there in PROC import processor. Let's see a data set and then we will do an example how we can pull an Excel data using PROC import processor. So this is a data set which we are going to work on. Here you can see this is an Excel sheet and this is our data. Employee ID, age, attrition, business travel, daily rate, department, distance from home, education and there are, and there are a lot of other variables 
which are related with a particular employee and you can see that how many working hours are there uh, what is the training time last year work life balance year at company years in current role years with current manager so there are a lot of variables with this particular data set and it is into the excel sheet so we will try to import this data and create a sas data set from an excel sheet let's write a code and try to import this data into the sas environment this is a code which i have already written and as you can see the syntax which you are seeing previously the same format i have used to import the excel data into the sas environment and this time we are going to save into a permanent library as and as you can see this is our attrition data set which is into the excel format and here you can see the data file option and you can see the location of the attrition data set is saved into my local machine here i have used the out option and i am saving this particular data set in my permanent library in sas environment and this will create att's data set dbms is equal to xlx dbms equal to xlx is basically an identifier that is it's an excel file which we are importing sheet equal to employee that this is the only sheet from the excel data set which we are going to import get names equal to yes option tell sas that we want to keep the same variable name which is there into an excel data set and then we are going to run our program let's run the program and then we are going to see that whether we are able to successfully import this excel data set into a permanent library and create a sas data set so we have run our program let's open our permanent library so here you can see this is a sas data set atnt let's click on that and you can see that we are able to successfully read all the rows and bring all the columns so there are total 40 columns but you are seeing right now 35 so you can check here the other variables also and you will see all the columns which are there into an excel data set since we have saved into a permanent library you can call the permanent library every time and you can have an access to this sas data set for your further analysis now we are going to use proc export procedure to export a sas data set into our local machine or to a remote location where we want to save our sas data set into an excel format or any other format of our choice so most of all the options are same as of proc import procedure except two one here you can see in proc export data equal to sas data set in import procedure we use data file option and in place of out file option we are using out option to let sas know that where we want to save our excel data set which we want to create from our sas data set now let's run the program and see how we are going to export a sas data set onto a local machine so let's use proc import procedure and try to read a sas data set class which is in sas help library sas help library is a permanent library which is there in sas data set and you can use any of the data set for your analysis and we are going to read class data set which is in sas help library and we are going to read this data set and will import in our local machine so this is the code and as you can see it is similar to the syntax what we have seen just now and we are going to run the code and we are going to see that how we can save an excel data set from a sas data set so we have run a program this is a log it has been successfully created since our code runs successfully and we have checked our log too that the class data set has been successfully created into into the location where we wanted to save it so this is session 15 and this is the location of the file where, where we wanted to save our class data set into an excel format so let's see our class data set that whether everything has been loaded into the excel file properly or not from the sas data set you can check it from the sas data set also and match the data all the 19 rows have been read successfully it has created a worksheet name students as well as 
it has also created the variable name which were there into a sas data set name sex age height and weight so in this way you can use sas procedure to import and export sas data set into an excel environment or an excel data set into a sas environment guys this is an end of session 15 if you like this video then please do like and subscribe us thank you so much have a great day